legal pot, what makes men hot, and 21 cum shots. Coming up today <laughs> oh on The Point. Coming up to today on this season of It Almost All Rhymes. All right. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Point, the only talk show bringing gay and straight <coughs> men together to see what happens. Who, who, <coughs> on me. I did. Oh. What? Huh? Clear your throat. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, it's all those cum shots. I'm it's all those cum shots. <laughs> sorry. It doesn't go down either. It's a lot of sugar. <laughs> Oh, cheers to that. Um, Zaid is back with us. Jamal is back with Hi. us. Hey. So let's jump right into it. Talking point number one, Forever 21. A new Thor? study from Harvard. This door? Go on. No, no, it's a school. It's a university in the States. No, Forever 21. No, I thought I that was I'm a kidding. gym. <laughs> <laughs> Off the rails already. Uh, already. <laughs> a new study from Harvard says that if you want to be in optimum health, you should ejaculate 21 times a month. A day. I thought you were gonna say a day. And I was like, you don't so do that ambitious. anymore. Um, no, my New Year's resolution okay. has fallen so here right off. I think that's a totally right. reasonable step back. and okay. Okay. easily okay. Wait, let's, okay, here's the deets. Yeah. A new Harvard study of 32,000 men published in the Journal of European Urology. I didn't know European Urology was different than other urology. Yeah. Found... European, I'm a PN. <laughs> no, this is- Everybody need <laughs> PN all over the place. What is that? Found that doing? men who orgasm more frequently reduce their risk of getting prostate cancer by 33%, and the magic number is 21 times per month, or 250 times a year. Doing it so much, I'm wow. like, preventing other people from doing it at this point. point I'm just or like, 21 uh, wait, 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 Tito has a question, what? Like just 21 or more than 21? No, it's not exactly 21. Like the magic number for optimum health is 20, like if you read, it's you can, at least 21. It's at least 21, It's not yes. exactly no, 21. No, it's okay. at least 21 times a month. Or 252 times a year. Imagine it's like, it's like a, a time 22, it's like, sorry, I gotta stop. Yeah, All right, I'm watching yeah. my prostate. <laughs> so but but I mean, tomorrow. what if I get to like 19, 20, am I still safe? Yeah. Then I should be okay, right? You should do three more just in just case. Just pop another one out. Yeah. Yeah, just right there? Yeah. All right, all right, cool. No, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Just right here. I, I, who has time to ejaculate 21 times in a month? What? What? You, you make time for the things you love, Fred. Yeah. Dude, I have once, not... like, like three or four times in a day. Yeah. Well, you you made a, a, a New Year's resolution. I did, and I did not. To now, what was, well what was your New Year's resolution? What was your New Year's resolution? What was it? Did it stop or was Just it all? Just not watching porn because you wouldn't be in there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wanted to do that, but then I just, like, my imagination started working, and then I was just like, this you isn't just, working. You locked in your bedroom. Yeah. Well, yeah. All day. I, I, but, uh, okay, so 21 times. Do, you, do you ejaculate 21 times a month? Uh, probably. I, I think it's, don't I, even I, bother. I, right? it's, it's like way one more. Time. I definitely that, try to. That's pretty much once a day if you think about it. I know, but so you... You couple and days where you times skip, times the yeah. next day you do two, three. Yeah. So I'm like, this guy knows. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask a question? Actually, this is a little bit related. So a little bit. I mean, if the doctor told me when, I needed to, I would. But <laughs> or a guy dressed as a doctor, anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but when you're <laughs> okay, so when like before you've been intimate with somebody, a guy, a girl, whatever, like you're a kid kind of thing, like just starting into the whole puberty thing, you know, you got your imagination of what it, you know, and this was back before the internet for a lot of us, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but Tito, I don't know how old you are. Um, you're forever. We're not young. talking about it. But <laughs> We're not you know, it's it's your imagination of what it could be and all that kind of thing. Do. Have you guys found that there's a switch where it's like now you, it's more about like the experiences you've had that you think about rather than if I don't the have imagination of what stimulus, could have yeah. been? If I'm not or watching what could something? be, what could have been or what could be? What could be, sorry. Could be. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I out. think it's like... <laughs> Spill right there. Yeah, it's just, it's just water. <laughs> um, 21 <laughs> So about, about ejaculating, um, you know, it's uh, like if I if I just don't, if, That's you know, it's, it depends on what's like available. If I feel like watching like something, yeah, but if I don't want to watch something, yeah, I could definitely watch something from, you know, the real. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's so if, yeah, imagine yeah. you have nothing to watch and you're, it's all in your mind. Oh, yeah, totally. It was it what could have been, anymore, but is it? I don't think. Like, what, porn? Ima no, imagination. like imagining stuff. Oh. Don't watch porn for two days and see what happens. Oh, see, I see. Two days. I, two days is nothing. I think, what? It's an eternity. Whatever. <laughs> Come on. I find masturbation boring. 
Oh. You're not doing it right. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's no, like, I need to go to no. bed and I'm just not being left alone right now by a certain someone, so something's gotta happen. Or when I, you know, when I wake school, up in the morning. You're, 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 you're with, with someone. Wouldn't, right? wouldn't you rather save it up and use it when you're with yeah, someone? Yeah, but when you I, know, it's not like that. There's, save like, it? It's, there's an infinite save amount. It. No, 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 but listen, listen, Fred, Fred's got a point. Okay, okay. okay. Fred does have a point. I have a point. He does, okay? There we go. Yeah. There are some occasions, and I mean there are some, okay? Rare for me, but sometimes, where I will masturbate, and then after I'm like, I could have saved that for some yes, money. Why, I did, like I, why did I do that? Why can't you just do it again later no, on? I mean, like, Post-masturbation post loneliness. Right there, I could have <laughs> That's normal. That. You like, tune it out, you wait 20 minutes, it? have a banana, and Well, not save it, but I mean, like, instead of doing that myself, I could have went somewhere to somebody else. I got to call somebody over. Like, oh, because it wasn't myself. good enough? Do you think it was just like, you know, I think I know what you guys are talking about. Or maybe I think I was proud of it. It's saving your sexual energy. If you save it, you f I find myself talking differently to guys, whether it's online or real life, and then cool. I feel like it's I'm just more Actually, invested in the energy, and I'm more I'm more present yeah. in all forms. Every sperm just... is sacred. Every sperm is great. Well, I have nope. about <laughs> bad news for about 700 million of them. Is that your you cult or something? Is that <laughs> no, that's every, every sperm is sacred. Thing. Anyway, <laughs> you were talking great. about. You were talking about imagination and whether or not. So ask the the website askmen.com actually ask men. Ask oh, men. So Girl. <laughs> it's a sister website ask for men. boob men. Oh, askmen.com came listed the uh, what they say are the 10 most common male sex fantasies. And this is uh, for straight, straight men. men, but this is um, so but I want to know if if this is what gets you going on those nights where there ain't nobody around. How do we check? Someone who says yes. <laughs> Domination. Okay. Ah, uh, no. It's not my thing. Nope. Um, wait, from which wait. angle? Are we well, being dominated? Well, okay, yeah, that's a good that's question. That's yay, right? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get, we didn't get that views. information. <laughs> but do we have a say in this? Do the gays have a say? Well, of course you have a say. Oh. Anything that no. rhymes is allowed to be part of the show. I just like doing whatever the guy wants me to do. <laughs> right. I was like, are you into this? Sure. Uh, it's just, I'll put it on. I'll put on. I'm an actor, right? So, um... <laughs> I'm no. just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a go with the flow person. Um, uh, uh, well, you can flow 21 times a month. Um, submission. Thankfully, I don't. Yeah. Again, submission. that's the. Well, do, I mean, are, do you fantasize do you about, fantasize being... about dominating someone? Do you fantasize about being uh, submitting yourself to someone? Uh, you know, neither one of those things, frankly. No. Okay. For me, I'm like, is weird. Getting into it. I don't know why I think that this is weird, but like when both people are like super into it. That's really hot yeah. to me. Like, yeah, I'm not is. into these like rape fantasies or domination yeah. or submission. No, For me, it's just like people who are just so fucking passionate about each other, like oh. that's what does it for me. That just, so yeah. 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 Everything yeah. flows so, uh, the so smooth. Point well, thing. that, okay, so you were talking about two people who are really passionate about it. Uh, number three on this list is threesomes and orgies. Yes. Honestly, I find these are way too much I'm gonna work. Say threesomes. What? I'm gonna say like, threesomes. It's Orgies sounds... are too much work? Threesomes are too much work. No, it's not. That means you can take a back seat for like, you know, okay, I need a breather for a minute, let you two I, go at like, it. I okay. get distracted it's easily. It. Like sometimes I like, when it's just me and, and another guy, like I'll be like drifting in my head and I'm just like, oh, sorry, I'm still here, I'm still present. He's wow. like holding the condom for like 30 seconds. No, like, threesomes. I was just reading You're a label. horrible person. No, it's just trying to <laughs> okay. be shaming me. How dare you drift away? Yeah, I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with how engaging the person is or okay. not. But okay. but um, threesomes just sound like you know. Does anybody need any fingers down there? Kind of situation. Like it's no, just, but this way, if you, you get know, tired, like a flight attendant. if yeah. your hand gets the tired, someone else can do it. I want to be a guest star. Yeah. <laughs> no. Number four, experienced women. Or oh, old, older men yeah, experience. Uh, you yes. like you. I love older I will you always, I always have. Always Anyone always 70 have. or older or he's, down. He's, down. Hey, if, they, if, they're, if they're 69, again. that works for me, okay? Actually, oh, one, of the top, top, probably. one of the top porn related searches on the Google machine Robin is Ryan. granny porn. So, uh, what? Really? All right. Okay. I get Where it. do these facts come from? On the flip side is, is virginal women. No, you see, the, like, see that also, why do you want to be with like someone who has no life? idea what they're doing? Yeah, yeah. complications. Like, this 100% is... not. And it's usually Too like 99% <laughs> of the time, terrible acting. <laughs> Too many complications. Yeah, yeah. Well, because there's that, but then there's also like, that starts to get into like the whole thing of them being pretty young too, which doesn't really Do you do really want to be the me. first person to like deflower someone? I honestly want to be, cute. because I feel like I've, speaking, I've spoken to a lot of gay men out there whose first experiences were absolutely terrible, and I feel like a moral and obligation and, to give and, them a yes. nice one. I, I'm with you. you. Know what I mean? Like, I'd be more than willing to sacrifice See, one but of, from a selfish yeah. perspective, you don't want to be with someone who 
was like, what do I do? Like, oh, fucking just do oh, something. Oh, no, they have, like, to, they have to be willing to learn. Okay, okay, we gotta get through this. Uh, six, unattainable the, uh, women or men. Ain't yeah. nobody got time for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't, I, I no, I- You have I 15 seconds. That. You like that? No. No, like hard to get, like, life is too short. Yeah. For, yeah. Uh, voyeurism. What is that? Like uh, watching, getting off watching people. Oh, is it or being watched? That's exhibitionism. Oh, yes. Like right, you're right, exhibiting right, yourself. Right, 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 so we're talking about real life, not on screen. Well, whatever. It's like a perspective it's boring, thing. So. Well, but voyeurism in real life, right? That's yeah. like peeping toms. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'd love to do that. Yeah, that is exciting. I do that all the time. It's yeah. like that my favorite exciting? thing to do on like. So. Okay, <laughs> close your blinds. I mean, I wouldn't say those nearby. I wouldn't say to watch, but to hear. I think kind of. It makes you horny if you know someone else is doing something, right? Yeah. No, I need to see them because I don't be like. Usually when I'm hearing it, someone in the next apartment or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, I can hear it, I can visualize in my head something different. I mean, you have to hear it through one of these kind of walls. <laughs> so, very thin. Um, yeah. Number eight, sex in public. Yes. yes. Public yeah, places. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, I think sex to... in nature, not necessarily in public. That's number nine, yeah. sex in nature. Yeah. So yeah, having sex hot. in a forest. Yeah, but that's no. What, if there's a water body nearby? Amazing. But like, But like sex on a beach? Sand up sandy, your ass. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. That vaginas. is not as nice <laughs> as it sounds. I know a lot of women who tried it. No sandy vaginas sandy are vagina. a thing. What? I don't think they do. Anyways, what about vaginas? So sandy, no vagina. sandy vaginas. Oh, yeah. Sandy vaginas. Sandy vaginas. I think that's a drag queen. Um, and number ten is uh, um, lesbianism. Mm. Yeah. Do you guys Can like we just it? call it lesbian yeah. sex? Lesbian We sex. don't call it gay as I gotta be honest. <laughs> we should. Yeah? Yeah. Do you watch oh, lesbian yeah. porn? Yes, can, we, like, can we just like have five seconds to, yeah, what's, to what's lesbian that porn that you watch? What's it like? Because my lesbian friends are like, this is garbage. Like, why are her nails so long? I, I'm, I'm gonna be like completely honest just right now. I just love it. like like scissoring. That's my favorite thing. That, that's before. all I see if I ever were to watch Wait, you know, but isn't lesbian it just porn. Like, so get, like, what no, do they do? No, but when they're like into it, like Doug pointed out, when like two people are into it, man. Have you guys seen Black Swan? No, I haven't. <gasps> I know. Natalie I know. Portman I know. and Mila Kunis. Like, there's all okay, kinds before of Before like, this completely goes yeah. off the rails, yeah. it's time for Tito's midpoint. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm all, come on, I just... This week we're playing Point of No Return. So you guys read a question and just answer it truthfully. Or if somebody else has like a good, better answer, just You don't need to mix them up. We, it's up. Not, we don't know what they are. Oh, you're giving them out. Oh, okay. I guess. It's just going to go around the table. Okay, we'll go around the table. Doug. All right. All right. And then I answer it? Yes. It's upside down. This is the lamest question. Do you cover your eyes during a scary part in a movie? <laughs> uh... No, well, it depends. Sometimes if they're like, re if I'm like in a theater and it's like really, really high up, I'll sometimes have to like look at the floor and make sure that I'm on solid ground because that always seems to get me. But mm. not, not too much. I cover my eyes during like, m m if it shows medical things, I yeah. can't watch. Yeah. That I can put I up with. I can't watch rape or okay. like sexual violence on TV. Yeah, the, the I can't blood hear it. I can't do any of that. Just yeah. my stomach going. Zaid. Uh, have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? Not really. <laughs> what? I have. I find it's really I've impractical. You just don't I learn know, anything. No a mirror is not someone's face. No. And well, I end up just looking like, at myself, and I'm just like, okay, I gotta work on the eyebrows, I guess. You know, that's pretty much it. Or like, just not make a, you know, specific faces. You, you have. Yeah, when you're like young and like you've never kissed anyone. Yeah, so oh, like, I have uh, done that. But like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Ori. Um, what's the worst date you've ever been on? Um, oh, <clears> it was I actually have definitely win at this game. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've I've been lucky enough. I've been like I've I've went on some pretty great dates, but uh, I just went on this one recently. It was it was a couple months ago. But spill the this, tea. This, spill the tea. No, this this uh, girl. She was fairly young. I would hope so. Just Idiot. had nothing else to talk about other than her business, and I was would try to like sway the conversation in other like, ways. Like she would just come back. Her business or oh, like her business? Her, bi her business. No, her like business. She she had her own like business or whatever. But I was just like, I'm just like, and she would just go on. I'm like, can you just like, can we talk about something else, please? And she'd be like, yeah. A woman entrepreneur. Like oh, for for an hour, and it just wow. sucked. That sucked. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've That's had okay. It's not that ones bad. Ones that are really. like. <laughs> if only she had just showed up in a trench coat at your door. And was Reese with her. Who's to say she didn't? No, I'm just joking. Oh. What is your worst <laughs> habit? Oh, I know that. Being a bitch. That's exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's exactly right. Being that. <laughs> okay, relax. I'm not that much of a. <laughs> hey, you self admitted, so. <laughs> All right. Well, you admitted. No one self admits. Oh, right. Uh, have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction? 
Yes. I mean, haven't we all had one? <laughs> yes. Am I by myself here? See, what was I a terrible, what was, what was one? What was, your, what was your worst wardrobe malfunction? I would say my worst would have to be, I was um, in a fashion show, so I was wearing a, you know, self-designed, self-designed, sorry, kilt. And, oh. you know, I was walking and <laughs> oh, for damn. some reason, what? one of the slits of the kilt happened to just, you know, fly open uh. and there's me. On the runway? But as it was warm. naked Jamal. So, yeah. Yes. Um, Did you make it work? I made it work. Made I, I it struck work. my yeah. stuff. That's it. In the end, he killed it. I d yeah. oh. oh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that one, honestly. It's, uh, Wait, no, we're not, we're not, do, we're not this, going there. The, have you ever lied about your age? In fact, I have. I used to lie about my age. When I was in my 40s, I, I, like my early 40s, I used to lie and say I was in my late 30s. And then and people would buy it. And I was like, oh, okay, I, I, they don't think I'm in my 40s. Oh, you sure but fooled then, me. But then, the, what? I said you sure fooled me. Oh No, when I was in. Okay. But now that I'm 50, 50? Now, now if You're I 50 years old, yeah. you can still say 40. Yeah, I wouldn't, you can I still wouldn't say 38. No, 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 no. When people say, when I tell people I'm 50, they're like, oh, wow, you look amazing for 50. So I'd much rather yeah. get that yeah. than, or oh, you look yeah. terrible you look for like 38. A, <laughs> you look like a, uh, you're, a 30, you're a 35, but you're a six. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? exactly. I'm exactly. Like, I, I, I sometimes forget, forget my age. So I guess technically I do lie about it sometimes. I forget sometimes. Sometimes how old I, I am. forget write it, too. Write it on your, I should I should probably yeah. write it down so you know, I don't No, like sometimes yeah. I don't know what year like I'm at. It's really weird. <laughs> I thought I was 27 for two weeks not? last year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last year in, in March. Like, like, like just right after you turn a certain age, and then people will ask you, and I'm like, wait. Oh yeah, wait. yeah. How yeah. old am I again? Yeah, that's that's yeah. my. That's Tito, my that wouldn't happen if you weren't such a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Thank you, Tito, for today's midpoint. Awesome. And now it's time for talking point number two, up in smoke. So there's been a lot of talk lately about um, legal I marijuana I love coming song. to, oh, I think I can make it dance too. Can I make it dance? Stop. No, no. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Season two, everybody. We're um, stepping so, up our game. So, yeah, values. Um, uh, uh, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said um, legal marijuana by July of next year, 2018. But Happy now, Canada Day. Hmm? Happy Canada Happy Day. Happy Canada Day. Everybody. He's a good man. But now there's. Uh, but now, okay, the logistics. How do we sell it? Okay. Now we look can look at the models in the in certain U.S. states that have legalized marijuana. Here in Ontario, the province of Ontario, where we shoot the show, um, where we already have a government-run liquor store, and some states have state-run liquor stores, um, they said that company, the LCBO, the Liquor Control Board of Ontario, they're going to create separate stores to just sell pot, the way they just sell um, I think that's great. marijuana. Um, but some people are uh, angry. Yeah, okay. I don't. I don't even smoke pot, but I mean, like the, the taxation on that would be ridiculous. Why wouldn't they? Well, just... Well, it's going to be taxed. Well, I know regardless. that, but like, why wouldn't they just have it in in certain smoke shops and stuff that they already have, and just like have that revenue through that? You know what I mean? Going you okay? Keep with keep talking. Mike, go back. This is screwed up. What is this? this is to do. ignore. <laughs> ignore this. Click on the fucking just, navigator on the side arrows. and go. <laughs> why are you messing this up? <laughs> I oh don't my know. god! Show navigator right Stop. there. And there's his desktop. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Slow no. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how to get this. This back. is pretty. We can get it. Okay, Doug's gonna come. Out. Okay, so um, you think it's a good idea to sell it uh, through? I think it ha It's a good idea as a distribution channel. I don't think it's a good idea as the only distribution yeah, channel for exactly. this because the whole point is to like it's. The, the point of this regulation, I feel, is that the only way to buy marijuana is for the government to get a cut. And it's really annoying because it's like, they're, they're going to it's a plant. Like yeah. it's not, you know, there's no process, you're not distilling anything, you're not adding baking soda, you're not doing any of that. You're just like, you know, I can just put it in my garden, I don't want to have any cops locking on my door, you know what I mean? I'm not, you know, the, the like, you know, culminating whatever, like uranium. It's like, it's a very So if you plant. do grow it, is that going to be illegal? I like think there's a it? certain amount. Like, it's like two plants or four plants okay. or something. Right. Yeah, I'm yeah, cool with that. Like, I don't want to have to. Like, it's it's a different. Pro yeah, it's a, it's a mon altering sound, uh, substance. So some of the elements of that business model for liquor can work for this too. But I think the fact that it's not 
you know, you can't like, you know, die from too much. Well, I don't know if you can, but like you have to smoke like 27 yeah. kilograms or whatever. I don't think it's it should be an identical business model. The yeah. thing that surprises me, because there have been illegal pot shops popping up, even though marijuana is not legal yet. Yeah. Um, and they've been shut down because they're illegal. I don't understand why, if we're okay with controls around alcohol, and we're uh, okay with controls around cigarettes, right? They're only in convenience stores here in Ontario. They're behind like these blind things. You can't even see the packages. Yeah. Why is it that, oh no, we have to have absolute free market on marijuana? Because it's much less harmful than cigarettes and but it's alcohol. Still, but there's still public health issues involved. Yeah, but they're so minor compared to like, like alcohol kills more people per year than like a heart attack or something like that. Or I, it's whatever it is, I'm not sure about that number, but it's disastrous. Like it's it's worse than, cigarettes kill more people than, than car accidents. They're terrible numbers. No one dies from marijuana. So I don't think well, I, the control I, see, should I, be the I, same. I, like I actually, it's not. Yeah, the control should be the same. I don't shouldn't know be the same. Oh, I think it should. I think it should. I mean, the other thing too, right, is that the harder you make it to get things, Yeah, the, the whole point is to curb the black market. Yeah, the, there you go. Yeah. That's my point. <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, Summary. No, it's by... a bot market size. And I well, I guess it. we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens as we get closer to the date of legal. Do you think there's going to be like a, that'll like be a, a good party? show? If <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll we'll all... why don't they do it on 420? Like that would make the most sense. Now. Well, yeah, because that's the government's priority. And then we can get a t we can get a TV special going. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll have a special 420 show. The I don't even smoke pot. What, 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 I don't even. You should start. I just did it for like start. the third don't time. Don't dance like that. Yeah. We should have a, we should have a Stone happen, series though. premiere. For season, what is it like? Would be like. Oh, Tito, Bop of the Week. <laughs> Bop of the Week this week is Avicii featuring Rita Ora, and it's called Lonely Together. Just oh. as always, Tito's made up most of those words. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, get any of that. Oh, well, Avicii, I know Avicii and Rita Ora. Oh, I don't Isn't that a, a um, ceviche? Isn't that not a thing ceviche. you ordered? Not ceviche, okay. Yeah. I mean, I love Rita Ora. So. Yeah, she's great. If you're watching us on YouTube, please remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Costs you nothing, helps us greatly. Press the red button, press the red button. You can also catch us on Reverie, the world's largest LGBTQ online streaming service. Check us out there at reverie.tv. Our crowdfunding site, Patreon, patreon.com slash thepointguys. If you like us, please support us. Help us keep going. Of course, our audio podcast is on iTunes. Check us out there. Our website for all things The Point is thepointguys.net, and you can reach us by emailing us at thepointguys at gmail.com. Thank you all. Thank you all. No applause. <laughs> applause, applause, applause. Who are you pointing to? I feel like Jeb Bush. Please clap. Please clap. Uh, we, have a, we have a new show every Tuesday, so we will. See you, See you next, next Tuesday. Tuesday on The Point.